head and this sold really really fast hey bubble buddies thanks for watching Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about 32 of my bread and butter Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can source cheap and sell for a profit. And I've been adding the numbers up for you guys and telling you what I paid and what everything sold for, and I did not do that in this one. So sorry, but I'm going to share with you 32 items that I sold on eBay for. Um, $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And I think some of these are going to surprise you. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And let's get started. The first item is this Peter Rabbit. Uh, it's a duck and it's by uh, Beatrix Potter. So I think she's the one that does uh, Peter Rabbit, right? And this sold really quickly. I got this from a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold this for $16 plus shipping. The next item is this Hide and Seek Pals Gray Elephant Plush. I got this at, oh, oh, okay. A garage sale for a dollar. And I ended up selling this for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. And it's a Hide and Seek Pals. So it does have sound. I can't yep i did put a video down in the description so it's nice for people to know how things work and that they do work right these tweety bird um postage stamp earrings super cute from 1997 they are vintage came out of my bulk buy i bought it on ebay to sell on ebay oh my goodness i got 344 pounds of jewelry um so much of it I still need to list, but I've got tons of unboxings way early back, probably two years ago on my channel. You guys should definitely check some of those out. Sold this for uh, $17.35 plus shipping. I'll try to remember to link the video where I actually went and picked it up because uh, she was about... I think we were about three hours or so apart and we ended up driving and meeting in the middle for me to pick it up. Oh my goodness, you guys, it was fantastic. I was like, can you record for me while I get this out of your car? And she's like, yeah, she's great. Um, we haven't talked lately, but uh, we do keep in touch here and there. I need to send her a message and see how she's doing because she's incredible. But anyway, I sold these for $17.35 plus shipping. This here is this vintage PVC bully Mickey Mouse gold Disney figure cake topper. I got this at a garage sale for 25 cents and I sold it for $15.50 plus shipping. And this next item is an alpaca uh, Camagaro scarf. It's ivory cream fringe women's. And, you know, I would not recommend putting ivory in the title. I shouldn't have done that because sometimes that's a trigger word that uh, can be get picked up by eBay um, because you can't sell ivory like elephant tusk. So be careful using that word. But I just use cream. Uh, but anyway, I just noticed that. And it was probably just, I don't know, uh, something that I missed and I just noticed. So I thought I would share it with you while it's fresh in my mind. I sold this for $18.59 plus shipping. I don't remember where I got it. I might have been that garage sale where I got everything free. I'm not 100% sure. This is a Disney store cake toppers, figurines, figures, Minnie, Mickey, Goofy, Daisy, Donald. I got these at a garage sale. I paid a dollar for all of them. I sold them for $18.60 plus shipping. Cake topper, um, is a great word. I recently got some that were Disney princesses and I think they were little um, checkers for like a Disney checkers game. And I put cupcakes in the title and they sold super fast. So I don't know if that's why or not, but just a little tip there. This ring is, I don't know, it took forever to sell, but I got it. I don't even know where I got it. I think I got it at a garage sale, but it's a cluster ring. It's marked 18 karat HGE. And it's um, a size eight and a half. Uh, heavy gold electroplate is what that stands for. And I ended up selling this for a best offer of $12. I was happy to see it go. It's a cool old vintage ring, but not a lot of value there. And the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item is this clown. It's by Jim Bree and it's from 2005. It is retired. I got this at the Goodwill for $1 and I sold it for a best offer of 10 plus shipping. These are the Toomey Ertl John Deere animal replacements and it's for the John Deere set. They, um, I have multiples of these listed. I always pick them up, but I sold this set for $9.30 plus shipping and I got them at a garage sale for 50 cents. This here is an Alvin and the Chipmunks musical and motion plush. I always pick up anything that's animated. Always, always, always. I mean, if it's a good price. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar and I sold it for $27.90 plus shipping. This next item came from that uh, Precious Places. Uh, it's a play set. I picked it up at a garage sale. It had some extra pieces in it from other sets. I decided to part it out. If you want to see how I parted it out, I have a video over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. You guys should definitely go watch it because it's unbelievable how much things can add up to when you part them out. And I'll link that um, channel down below. I got this probably 10 cents in this and I sold this for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. This next item is a Manhattan Kids Unicorn Plush Lovey. It's a security blanket. And I got this off of Wholesale. It is a website that basically resellers sell to other resellers. And I do have a referral link down below if you guys want to check it out and use that link to join. You'll get a $10 credit. But um, basically, I went on there and I bought a plush lot and then I listed the items to resell. So it's, a, it's another resource or place that you can source for items. My cost of goods for this item was $1.68 and I sold it for $12.40 plus shipping. And you can also sell stuff on there. So if you have a whole bunch of stuff or you want to do small lots of plush or small lots of toys and you want to sell it at a wholesale price so that somebody else can make money on it, definitely check out wholesale. This is a Calico Critters Red Roof Cozy Cottage Starter Home Replacement Door. I got this at the Goodwill Benz. I always pick up the Calico Critters windows, doors. They always sell. People lose them and they look for replacements on eBay. I sold this one door for $9.30 plus shipping. This here is a Bath and Body Works uh, Smart Soap Refill. Never seen these before. Never heard of it, but I was at a garage sale and it was a buck. And I'm like, it's probably discontinued. I know I can sell it. I mean, it's a dollar. And I sold this for $21.70 plus shipping and it sold really quick. And I do have another one listed in a different scent. These are Snoopy picture frames. I probably should have parted these out. I had somebody a long time ago message me. They said they only wanted one. Again, I'm not going to part it out. Um, so I had to wait longer for it to sell because I had two of them. I probably could have put twins in the title. That probably would have been a good idea. This came out of a thrift store mystery box. I sold these for a best offer of $12 plus shipping. This is a Bulldog Nodder bobblehead. And this sold really, really fast. Look at his face. Isn't he funny? He's like an ornament. And I got this out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. And I sold this for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. And like I said, it sold quick. Um, a lot of times people look for things that are like their animals. So this is probably somebody that had a bulldog. All right. I had somebody ask me, do ornaments sell that say things like baby's first Christmas? This one's a child's third Christmas. Yes, they do sell. Typically they are more long tail, but I recently just sold um, one that was a precious moments, baby's first Christmas. I think it was from 1995 and you'll see that in another video, but I want to say I sold it for over $30. So they do range. This one right here, somebody bought this one. It's from 1986, child's third Christmas and 1985, baby's second Christmas. So, you know, you just never know why people are buying things, but this is pretty cool. Uh, somebody bought both of these for a total of $16.74 plus shipping. I got one at a thrift store for 50 cents and another at a thrift store for a dollar. This is a Wish Pets Manny the Mammoth plush Mastodon. And this one was a part of the free plush that I got from a viewer. 
And she basically reached out to me on, uh, I'm sorry, on Facebook and said, I need this plush gone tomorrow. Can you come get it? And she watches my channel. She said, you can have it all free if you just come get it. So I went and got it and I've been selling it piece by piece. And I've got unboxings on the channel. I'm kind of putting them in my reseller vlog style videos and mixing them up with my what sold. So if you see a reseller vlog, you'll more than likely see the unboxings of these. I will also link her down in the description of the video and you guys can check out her eBay store. So cost of goods was nothing. I sold this for $14.10 plus shipping. This item my husband picked up at a garage sale. I think he paid a quarter for it. It's a vintage Sambos Tagalong Tiger plush souvenir advertising from 1978. I listed this for him. I listed a whole bag of plush for him that he got a great price at a garage sale. Um, he sold this for $18.60 plus shipping. This I got at the Goodwill bins and I was disappointed to find out that the actual bottom zipper was broken. So it did not close all the way. So unfortunately, I could not sell it for as much as I could have. It's an animated um, PBC International plush gingerbread girl. I ended up selling it for a best offer of 15 plus shipping and I got that at the Goodwill bins. This is a Raising Cane's advertising chicken, uh, Raising Cane's chicken dog. It's advertising from 2014. It's got the Good Citizen vest on. Got this at the Goodwill bins and this sold super fast for $20 plus shipping. This dollhouse fabric panel kit, um, it's from an estate sale. I got it for about a buck and I sold this for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. This here is a Gans Webkin Siamese cat and it has the, the code. And you know that the code is good because when you try to open it, you um, it has the hang tag or whatever it's called. And you can see right there that it hasn't been pulled out. So that's how you know. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and sold it for $16.25 plus shipping. And you wanna put unused code, okay? Simba the Lion, this is Starry Night by Cloud B. And this is what it looks like, but I showed the picture of the stars and it's a super cute little uh, toy. Uh, I got this at the Goodwill bins. I took a best offer of $10 plus shipping on that. This is an Octonauts Octopod replacement sea creature. It's the green eel. And I took a best offer of $5 on this plus shipping. I got it in, at a garage sale and a lot of Octonauts stuff and decided to part it out. This is a vintage 1998 Cat's Meow Wood Bible Stories collection. And I sold this for um, a best offer of $10 plus shipping. And I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. This is the Child's Play Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly. These are the replacement bean bags. I only have the cow and the cat here. And you can see they're not in great condition. And I sold these for uh, $12 plus shipping. And I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents. This is a little mini ornament and I saw this at the Goodwill Benz and I was like, oh, and I got excited. I thought it was a Boyd's Bear and then I looked at it closer and I'm like, it is not a Boyd's Bear because the ones, the Boyd's Bears with the little sweaters can go for crazy money. Um, I ended up selling this for $9 plus shipping. And the last item is from a Christmas skating pond. I found this at the Goodwill bins. It was in the box and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is a big money bolo. And I was super excited about it. Got it home and it did not work. So um, I decided to part it out. It had all of the figures here in the original packaging. And I ended up selling this alone for $32.50 plus shipping. So I did okay still. It wasn't in the packaging like brand new, like I thought, but it ended up being a really nice bolo. All right. Before we go here, I want to mention that down below, um, I've got different links to things that I use like list perfectly worth point photo room, um, hall sales down there. We talked about that. These are all things that I use for my business. And I highly recommend them. If you see something in my description, it means that I use it and I love it. Um, I am not really one of those to just share things to share them because they have referrals or commissions and stuff like that. I will like happily take a commission on something if it's a product I use and I'm talking about it and I love it and I think you guys can use it. 
But I turn down things all the time that I'm not going to share with you guys because I don't use them. I'm not just going to come at you guys with like, oh, try this because I can make money if I tell you about it. So if you see things in my description, that's because I use them. Um, so definitely check those out down below. If you have any questions, you can feel free to drop it in the comments and um, I can answer those questions there or you can private message me. So um, again, those links are down below. I appreciate it if you do use them because I do get a small commission. And I thank you guys so much for being here and I thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And um, these are my bread and butters. What do you think? Would you walk past these items? Would you pick them up? I mean, that last one sold for $32.50. That one was pretty cool. Um, but let me know. And thanks for watching.